In this video, I am going to talk about what is law of large number. So, law of large number is a fundamental law in the field of statistics and, and probability. Uh, we'll take an example to understand what is law of large number. Okay, uh, through example, it's easier to understand rather than just to you know understand from the definition itself. Okay, so here is an example. Okay. Uh, this is a classic example in probability where you know you're throwing a dice and dice has got six faces right so when you throw a dice you will get a number uh, from one to six okay so if you throw a dice what is the expected outcome uh, well the expected outcome is just the um, average of the different numbers on different faces of the dice right so there are numbers from one to you know six okay so we can take the average uh, it's just 3.5 so if you're throwing a dice the expected uh, you know outcome is just 3.5 which is just the uh, you know average uh, the theoretical average uh, of this experiment now if you conduct this experiment over again and again okay let's say you do it for 100 times you will you will see that the empirical average right by doing it for 100 times is actually coming out very closer to the theoretical average so this is theoretical average we haven't done this experimentation even once you know Without even doing the experimentation once, we just found out this particular expected value, right? Expected value is just the, you know, average of all the numbers, you know, there on the uh, face, different faces of the dice, okay? But when actually conduct this experiment, let's say for 100 or thousands or even 10,000 times and take the average, the empirical average will converge to us actual average. That means it will be something like 3.49, 3.46, which is very close to the actual average 3.5. Okay, uh, and the bigger n is the number of times you do this experiment, the the more accurate this result is going to be. Okay, now let's uh, you know verify this by taking an example. We'll take the help of R for this. So, all right. So what we will do here is that so we've got random you know values from one to six, and you know in, in the first time what we'll do is that we just take ten numbers. Okay. 10 uh, so 10 numbers as in uh, we are doing this experimentation for 10 times we're throwing dice for 10 times so you will get 10 outcomes right uh, and by the way this is uh, an uniform distribution so that you know the probability of getting a number from 1 to 6 is uniform okay it's it's same exactly the same for all these numbers okay and it's going to be a replacement right uh, so a particular uh, number could come uh, you know more than once okay um, okay so let's run this uh, okay so the function sample is going to be used so it, which is just you know a particular sam uh, is, is just a function used for simulating numbers from a uh, from a uniform distribution all right so the first experimentation we have got three as the outcome second time it is six and third time it's four uh, and then five five and so on okay now we'll take the mean of that okay uh, just take the mean of uh, this particular uh, set of outcomes and uh, let's say what is the uh, average so the average is 3.6 which is very close to 3.5 that's what we were expecting right but mind you we have done it for only 10 times 10 is just a small number we can you know of course increase this you know uh, number of experimentation that that means instead of just um, doing it for or uh, you know throwing the dice for 10 times we can do you know throw it for 100 times as well so what we will do is that uh, we'll first create sample for 100 um, outcomes right um, all right so here is a sample of 100 outcomes right and then we'll take the mean of that okay we'll take uh, the mean of this particular result and so let's see what the value is the value is 3.76 you know it's actually sometimes the case that you know it it could vary a lot if you just run it for second time it is 3.36 so it will vary a lot but if you increase the sample size then the variation will be much less let's run it once again so it will keep on varying okay sometimes it will be more than 3.5 sometimes it will be less than uh, 3.5 let's do it for thousand times and let's see whether it is coming out to be more accurate okay so the average comes out to be 3.51 which is you know very close to the actual uh, average theoretical average let's run it once more it's 3.5 not quite accurate uh, 3.49 is very accurate 
okay let's do it for 10,000 times and you will see the uh, the if you increase the number of samples uh, the number of times the experimentation is done you will uh, your variance will come down that means it won't vary much okay 3.49 which is very close to 3.5 uh, okay let's run it once more 3.50 you can see now the variation has reduced right 3.49 again 3.50 so it is now not varying right it's very very close to 3.5 and that's what the law of large number is you know if you increase the sample um, of an experimentation outcome and then the average will be very close to the theoretical average let's do it for 1 lakh times 3.499 very very close even closer than what we had received now 3.499 again very very close 3.4991 right is you can do it for a million times also you know it might take some time to run the code but you know uh, you'll you know still get your result uh, better right you'll get a better result so it's very close to 3.5 now um, 3.5 again now let's visualize how the empirical mean is distributed across different sample sizes okay so if you keep on changing the sample sizes the way we did um, and then we'll do it from you know sample size of 10 to 1000 okay and we'll see how the empirical mean is varying across the sample sizes so for that what we'll do is that we'll just write a for loop okay and the for loop will range from 10 to 1000 that means the sample size will be starting from 10 uh, till uh, 1000 and then we will save the empirical mean in the variable x okay and then we'll just in each iteration we'll just save the empirical mean and we'll also save the sample size okay so that's what uh, we have done okay so let's uh, run this all right so now let's see what uh, how this the empirical mean distributed is so we, we won't be able to you know get anything out of it if there are thousand empirical means so what we'll do is that we'll visualize it we'll just plot it okay so we'll plot um, the sample size with you know the empirical mean with respect to sample size okay um, okay all right now you can see the sample as expected right the empirical mean is having uh, you know a lot of variance initially but with uh, increase in sample size you can see the uh, variance is actually coming down right it is very closer to 3.5 right the variance is coming down right it is very very close right if you increase this sample size further it will uh, be even better right it will be even uh, very very close to 3.5 and variance will gradually uh, come down so let's run it again um, going to take some time because we have increased the value from 1000 iterations to you know 10,000 okay it's done so let's plot n and average again okay so now you can see uh, the same pattern right initially there is a good variation the variation is uh, is coming down and eventually we, we can see that you know it is converging towards the theoretical mean so that's you know one way of verifying empirically uh, the law of last